In simplest terms, a meteorite is a rock that falls to Earth from space. Meteorites are rocks, but they are not like Earth rocks. Most are far older, and they provide some of the only samples we have of other worlds, other planets, asteroids and possibly comets, in our solar system. Some meteorites even contain tiny particles that formed around other stars that existed before our Sun. Because meteorites are ancient pieces of these celestial bodies, scientists rely on them for information about the history of our solar system. The study of meteorites has helped us understand the beginnings of our solar system, how planets and asteroids formed and how impacts of large meteorites have altered Earth's history and life on our planet. In 1908 on a December night, a meteor streaked across the sky, across Weekly County and over Palmersville, falling into John Fagan's tobacco patch five miles north of Palmersville, landing close to Glover Road, it later become a family heirloom, the heirloom that dropped from the sky, the meteorite that served several generations of Fagan's family. The space traveler the size of a volleyball, eventually becomes a working member of the family. The 20-pound stone served first as a curiosity as the the rock that fell out of the sky and was hauled back to the Fagan house, where there was much speculation about its origins. Hugh Berryman, Fagan's grandson, and a Wilson County resident told the Nashville Tennessean. The Fagans were practical folk, and the rock was eventually put to work as an anvil to crack hickory nuts and as a doormat particularly good for cleaning mud off one's boots. The stone graduated to become a driveway ornament and retired as a doorstop before being inherited several years ago. Following a hunch, we had the rock tested, the report came back positive. The 20-pound stone was not of this world, much less of Weekly County. It was, as we had suspected and hoped, a meteorite. More importantly, by the traditions of meteorite designations, its name will include the name of the post office nearest where it landed. I'm excited that Palmersville will be on the meteorite list forever and... A geochemist and meteorite expert at the University of California Los Angeles to confirm the rock's origins. Rubin said he analyzes about 30 meteorites each month and about as many of what he referred to as meteor wrongs. Most of the real meteorites are from collectors who have obtained them from the Sahara Desert in Africa or the Mojave Desert in the western U.S. Almost everything I get from the public is not a meteorite, said Rubin. They are not meteorites. They are meteor wrongs. They are family heirlooms, but they are not meteorites. This is one of the rare cases where it is a family heirloom and a meteorite, so I was pleasantly surprised that it was genuine, given the story that it was found by his grandfather. Rubin said meteorites are valuable because they hold secrets that date back to the beginning of the universe. They are older than any earth rocks and were some of the first rocks created in the universe, he said. Barry Min, a consulting forensic anthropologist, said he is uncertain what he will do with his grandfather's find but he knows he will not sell it.